Hello everyone, this is David from the User Experience Group at Finastra and today we're going to talk about how to install our Angular library of components that is specialized for finance. Let's get to it. Once again, we're starting from the website of the Finastra design system inside the developers getting started section. If you haven't already, I suggest you to watch the previous video which is just talking about the Angular Native theme installation and you can see that in the comments below which is a prerequisite to uh, what we're going to do today, which is the Angular components. So first off, we're going to install our library of components inside an other demo of my demo app. And just when this is done, we're going to be um, importing a component and displaying it to the screen just so that we check that everything is working smooth. Uh, however, we're not going to be doing uh, what is written right here because here we're reading we're installing the scroll to top uh, component, which is, I think, too simple uh, for the for the a video. So we're going to be installing a filter tag component. All right, uh, let's go into our main .ts and remove that part and go into the filters and the filter tags, so that we can get the filter tag a module, which we will we'll then import in our Angular application. When this is uh, done, we can go over and uh, and comment uh, this part, which uh, this is where all the magic happens. Basically, this is the UHF filter tax components. It takes uh, two things uh, with the data. So if we have a look at this part right here, and we split that into two, just for ease of watching. So. Uh, our tag of sample data is just an array of strings and whenever uh, this filter tags component changes we are triggering this uh, function which updates the tag that it receives to this local variable chosen tags. We also make a local variable uh, just so that we can uh, query from our templates the different methods of our uh, filter tags components. In the case of our clear all button we're going to clear all the selection. And the last part of this template is below, we're just showing the chosen tags that uh, gets updated whenever we uh, select uh, something. Pretty, pretty easy, I think. All right, so we say the CLI is getting uh, notified and we can go over to our demo application, which is right there. And we now have this wonderful um, filter tag. So when we select something, it shows in a tag format. Below is the content of what was chosen. So if we add a new thing, it says add it with the string. If we remove one, it says removed. And if we clear everything, it says remove with all the different strings that were removed. Very cool, right? So none of you will be able to uh, see all the documentation of that component inside this uh, components page. This should be another card with the uh, filter tags components. As of right now, it's still in uh, in the making, so it's not available, but this is where we will be going in the future to see this documentation. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't, have a look at the other videos. Thank you.